Welcome to Credo. In this video, we'll walk you through the fundamentals of Credo's on-chain governance and show you how to set up policies that control actions within your workspace. Policies are stored on the Credo chain, they are immutable. However, if enough approvers agree and the approval quorum is reached, these policies can be updated. You can set up your policies in the governance section of your web app. Transaction policies control withdrawals, transfers, swaps and Web3 wallet transactions providing granular control over your digital assets. Transaction policies are independent and offer flexible application to both wallets and portfolios. This design provides teams with the agility, visibility and efficiency required. To create a policy, click on Create Policy, assign it a name and define the approving members of your policy. Please note, only members with the approver role can be added. You then define the approval threshold this is the minimum number of approvers required to approve a transaction for it to be signed. After creating your policy, you will need to assign it to the object you want to govern with it. You can assign policies at a portfolio level, which makes it easy for all your vaults and Web3 wallets within that portfolio to inherit this policy. Navigate to your portfolio and select Apply Governance. First, decide whether the policy you're applying should oversee all transaction types or if you'd prefer to set distinct policies for each transaction type. Then select the policy you want to apply. Let's look at how you can apply a policy to a vault or wallet. Whenever you create a vault or wallet within a portfolio that has a policy applied, you can simply switch the inherit policy toggle on. Let's now look at a vault that still is governed by the default policy. To change this policy, simply click on edit policy. I can then select the new policy I want to apply, and since my portfolio has a policy assigned, I can also select Inherit Policy from Portfolio. Let's turn on the Admin Policy option for the Policy Edit. We will take a closer look at Admin Policies in just a moment. I will initiate the change of policy and will need to approve it via the signing app, as I am currently the approver of the default policy which was active for this vault. Once the active policy has received enough approvals to meet its threshold, I can see that the governance changes have been applied. Let's now head back to the governance section to take a closer look at admin policies. Admin policies serve as optional security measures within a workspace, designed to offer your admins enhanced security and control. These policies can govern your transaction policies and the management of workspace admin privileges. A default admin policy comes into existence when you create your workspace but as a workspace admin, you can modify it to better suit your needs. Choose the policy you're interested in modifying and click on Edit Policy. From here, you can implement any changes you want. However, remember that for these changes to come into play, the active approval threshold needs to be met. Let's now look at whitelisting. For an added layer of security, we recommend complementing your policies with whitelists. Whitelists act as safeguards preventing your team from accidentally transferring digital assets to incorrect addresses. To add a whitelisted address, navigate to the whitelist section. If you intend to add a whitelisted address for your Web3 wallets, ensure that this feature is enabled under your workspace settings beforehand. Enter a name for this whitelisted address, add the address itself and then select the asset type. You will then need to confirm this action via your mobile signing app. Once this is approved, you can apply this whitelisted address to your desired portfolio. Well done. You're now well equipped to set up the governance structure of your workspace proficiently.